This presentation is brought to you by DARK, the application people, doing applications right consistently since 1992. Good afternoon, everybody. My name's Arnie Rosen, and I'm with DARK Corporation, and this afternoon's session is Turn the Engineering Change Order Approval Workflow into an Engineering Workflow. The agenda today, I'll start out with an introduction, uh, then work into uh, workflow definitions and the Oracle workflow, and then specifically the engineering change order uh, workflow. We'll look at workflow builder and the two seated uh, approval processes, the standard approval process and the voting approval process. And then we will look at turning what is really an approval workflow into a true engineering workflow and we'll finish off with references. DARK uh, has four lines of businesses um, the first being the consulting services which include program management, functional, technical, and application architecture. We also provide managed services which include production support and 24 by 7 functional and database support. We also have the Dark Academy, which focuses on organizational change management, which includes communications, documentation, and training. And our last line of business, ISIX, is a proprietary software that provides accelerators for interfaces and conversions, which are commonly used in mergers and acquisitions and global consolidation. Again, my name is Arnie Rosen. I've been working in Oracle applications for uh, over 12 years with uh, implementations in the U.S. and Canada. And in the spirit of Oracle's uh, drive to get us certified, uh, I am now certified uh, as a uh, expert consultant in purchasing uh, and along the way, uh, got an inventory and purchasing a certified implementation specialist, um, as well as uh, certified as a pre-sales and a sales specialist. Uh, the real driving force behind this presentation is the fact that when people see uh, engineering change order approval workflow, uh, they, they miss out on the fact that it really is just an approval workflow. Everybody is looking for this workflow to um, really uh, fit into a more traditional workflow definition, some of which I have uh, listed up here, uh, where they can really route work around the engineering department. Uh, and they're very disappointed when they see that this workflow really just focuses on the approval process. And if you look at the definition that Oracle gives for Oracle workflow, uh, that would, is what would lead you to that expectation. There's self-service monitoring, it does allow routing of business documents, and it delivers notification and reminders of work to be done. And the engineering change order uh, approval workflow doesn't do that, and this topic is about changing uh, that workflow to actually route work around the engineering department along with the reminders uh, of that work needing to be done. And again, this is the uh, further definition on Oracle workflow out of the uh, workflow manual. But again, our main focus here in this presentation again is to take what is really an approval workflow and turn it into an engineering workflow and we'll be discussing that in the presentation today. This form that we're looking at is the engineering change order in, uh, in Oracle, and I want you to focus on a few of the different fields, uh, the first being the type, uh, which in this case is new, which will uh, allow us to tie a workflow process uh, to it, uh, the next field we'll take a look at is the requester field because one of the common requests I get is that if for some reason this uh, change order is rejected, 
people would like the requester to be notified that it was rejected and that is not part of the seated workflow. The next field I want to call your attention to is the priority because in conjunction with the uh, engineering change order type, we can have a different workflow invoked. The approval list is the uh, list of people that need to either in the seated case here approve this engineering change order or in what we're going to see in our enhancements is we're also going to use approval lists to uh, identify the people that need to have work routed to them. When you look at the approval process field here you can see that it's linked to something called the dark voting approval process which in this presentation is the uh, customized workflow process. This is the uh, change type field and again you can see highlighted the new change order type that was on our header screen and we're then going to press the processes button and you can see here this is where we tie the uh, workflow process to the change order type. You can also see on the form here that the field priority is also part of that linkage. In this case we're not using uh, any priority so functionally what will happen here is that any priority will call this uh, workflow. If we wanted to have separate workflows based on the priority we'd list the priorities here uh, and the different processes. The other thing you see here in the screen in the list of values is these are all the workflow processes that exist to select from. The uh, three lower ones from e e -R -E -S, which is electronic record, electronic signature approval process, the voting approval process, and the standard approval process, those are all seeded by Oracle. The dark voting approval process is the custom approval process that we'll be going over in the presentation today. And later when we look at Workflow Builder, you'll be able to see these same four workflow processes in the Workflow Builder tool.